towards deeper ties between Singapore and Johor. As Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar makes his first official visit to the Republic, Shalinsia has more. A toast to bilateral ties, with both sides' love of food adding a personal touch. Just two months ago in May, Tonku invited Ho Ching and me to visit Johor. I'm very grateful that the Sultan went to some considerable lengths to humour my request and serve us memorable nasi ulam for our brunch. We also had laksa Johor, which is a popular dish amongst Johorians. It's a slightly different style from the laksa done in Singapore, but equally enough. And I'm happy to have the opportunity today to reciprocate their gracious hospitality. Today we've prepared some local fare, widely enjoyed by both Singaporeans and Malaysians, including soto ayam and beef rendang. But more than just a menu, conversations centred on cooperation, both during the COVID-19 pandemic and opportunities beyond. We recently started a new direct ferry service between Tanamera Ferry Terminal and Desaru Coast Ferry Terminal. Many Singaporeans are happy that Desaru's beautiful beaches and memorable seafood places are now more conveniently accessible. I also look forward to the timely completion of the Johor Bahru Singapore RTS Link project. When completed, it will ease congestion on the causeway, facilitate business and tourism, and foster closer ties between our peoples. Sultan Ibrahim expressed hope for closer ties and friendship. Over the years, the close cooperation and understanding with Singapore in many ways have benefited Johor, especially in its social economic development. It is my sincere hope my visit will further reinforce the bond of our friendship and enhance the continued collaboration for benefit of our people. Sultan Ibrahim was earlier conferred an honorary Doctor of Laws by the National University of Singapore. NUS said is to recognise his role in Johor's peace, progress and prosperity and for how he's helped strengthen ties between Singapore and Malaysia. The Sultan also got a flavour of Singapore's famed orchid diplomacy. Both he and his wife had a new hybrid plant named after them.